thank you thank you thank you so much for clicking on this particular video if you are new here kindly consider subscribing down below and also tap the post notification bell so that you are alerted every time i upload a new video thank you to those people that are continuing uh, to subscribe to my youtube channel um, you are in the right place feel free to contact me by commenting down below and also um i have left there my number in case of business or anything i'm here for you so let's jump straight into today's video and um in today's video we are going to talk about um motivation uh, what to sell in a beauty shop uh, what sells fast in a beauty shop the prices okay of some of the products that um i sell and also the uh, and also primary reason for doing this video is um cleaning motivation and organization so let's uh, continue watching I arrange similar products on the same place so that stock taking can become um, a bit easier for me. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left. So, business is about taking risks, and um, when you go uh, out there and buy stock, be sure that a few of those products are going to let you down others will pour others will break others will um, do all sorts of things but remember a profit supersedes everything and you should take that a bold step and start your business today they said don't fall don't forget all the things you've been taught you've been told don't blink don't run Turn left or turn right or look straight at the side My mind's gone in circles, I'm trying to fight it Get in these voices inside to stay quiet Go to the place where all this began Rearranging helps you to know the amount of stock that is remaining in the shop So as to make the necessary arrangements of going to get others Most of the products are affected by direct sunlight and also electricity so be sure to uh, place all products according to the way they behave um, in light. Kindly comment down below on what you think about this video so far so good. Be sure to have beads throughout uh, because kids are always plating their hair and most kids prefer having uh, beads on their hair. Uh, something else, the most uh, moving, the, the beads that move the most um, is color um, hot pink. Okay, sometimes you call it dark pink and white and colorless and also baby pink. And also uh, make sure that you stock on the bigger beads. Uh, those ones that sell at three uh, for ten shillings or one for five shillings. As for the big beads, they come in different designs, so be sure to have at least three types so that the customer has options of choosing. Say what you wanna say to me now I wanna wake up with you 
if you want to start a beauty shop in Kenya, uh, make sure that you have a book and a paper because uh, you should not down on what you are seeing uh, because uh, when you start, nobody tells you what to buy in Kamkunji. They just tell you to mention what you want. Uh, they are not there to advise you on what you should buy. They said, don't fall. Don't forget all the things you've been taught, you've been told. Don't blink. Cleaning makes an old looking product look as good as new and that is why um, frequent cleaning is advised. These earrings, uh, the whole pack goes for 50 shillings and then you'll come and sell a pair at around 10 to 20 bob depending on your preference. Then those uh, nose pins that I'm showing you right now are 24 pieces. Imagine go for 50 shillings, 24 pieces. So you can decide to sell them at 30 bob and you'll get a lot, a lot of profit. So you should also have bull rings because some people that have uh, nose piercings prefer bull rings to nose pins. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase and leave. Those are called baby bands and they, they are available in different sizes and also at different patterns. So they are uh, mostly uh, bought by people that have kids and they are also profitable. So when you go to Kamkunji or the boys are going to get them at uh, 300 bob uh, for a dozen. Because this is a beauty shop, sometimes you stock things that are not very profitable, but because uh, people will come to your beauty shop and expect to get those products, you have to stock them. So some, something like a bobby pin um, goes for around uh, 40 bob and it has a lot of small, small black pins. You have to stock it even though the pins don't move so fast. Uh, for you to start a beauty shop, you don't have to have a lot of capital for the business to start um, functioning. Um, like me, I started with a salon and uh, when a customer came to the salon, they wanted like to do maybe braids or weaves or crochets or sometimes when you're done with a customer, the customer tells you, Kate, I need, um, I need an anti dandruff which one is the best? Or sometimes uh, the customer, after, after you're done with the customer, the customer tells you, uh, do you know how to do makeup? And then you tell them yes. So uh, do you have the makeup uh, tools? No. So that is how I started. I bought the, the I pencils, I bought, bought some earrings for the customers, I bought a few braids that I saw were moving fast. If you've not watched my previous video, by the way, you should watch it because I've, I have explained uh, the kind of braids that move faster. Now, so I started talking on what my actual customers, uh, those ones that were coming to the salon, were asking for so that way i started bringing things things small 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 evil evil and then i started bringing in the other stuff uh, the hairs so when i get something like three thousand i rushed to come kunji uh, in the beauty shops there and then um, i started stocking on hair bands chains uh, lip gloss blood dust zawatoi uh, nails black shampoo because some customers will come to the salon they want their hair to be dyed and yet i never had uh, the black shampoos uh, the the black rose those kinds and subaru so that is how i started my business as uh, small uh, in small bits so i don't have the actual figure of um the amount that I have used so far, but there are times that I would go to Kamkunji and do a shopping of even uh, 50,000 uh, because uh, the business is continuing to grow. They said, don't fall, don't forget.
So it reached a point where I had a lot of stock uh, that I needed a counter and that is when I decided to build this counter and um, it costed quite some uh, good cash um, but all in all it is serving a very very good purpose and later on uh, that is when I decided to now uh, stock on perfume because most customers will come and ask for perfume refill and by the way if I'm asked this is the most profitable uh, business in this uh, beauty shop so far so good I have done another video on perfume refill business so be sure to check out that video uh, down below if you are selling perfume be sure not to place it near direct sunlight or uh, electricity because it loses its flavor uh, and it becomes like a flat kind of the storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wasteland So building a counter will cost you um, roughly I, I don't know if I will be able to approximate But the materials will cost more than a 20,000 bob Because uh, for example you will need um this white mdf uh like four pieces um one mdf goes for around 3500 so you times that by four then you need this black sellotape kind of thing um i can't remember the exact amount unless i ask my fundi uh, to break it down for me and then i'm going to get back with another video on how much it will cost you to build a counter then most of the money will go to the glass that is um apoqua counter it really uh, took a lot of money from me um and also there are some small uh, pieces of wood that are placed on the corners where the glass is attached to uh, to make sure that the glass is in um in a stable uh, condition uh, those woods are uh, they cost like um 250 uh, per meter if you have any questions kindly comment down below and i'm going to get back to you within no time Also, apart from the cheaper earrings, ensure that you have Kaflon earrings just in case a customer would want some piercings and also most babies, uh, the parents prefer them to, uh, to buy it or to have uh, the Kaflon earrings um, because they don't fade and also they are gold coated, original, sterilized. Remember that not all Kaflon earrings are able to do ear piercings and therefore be sure to check how it looks um, on the sharp end because they are different. The one that is supposed to do the piercing is a bit different from a normal a Kaflon earring. It is difficult to explain in a video but um, if need be, if you in on request, I will do that a video specifically i can even draw the difference between um a kaflon earring that can pierce and another one that cannot because i've done this business for quite some time right now i have been able to buy even fake products uh, for example i bought a whole packet of nasset and the nasset one very very blunt they were fake 
um, and they look very much uh, like the original Nasset. But right now, when I go to the market, I'm able to distinguish between a fake and original uh, product easily. Now I cannot be conned anymore. Um, the reason why I'm also doing this kind of videos is to enlighten my viewers. Um, I'm going to always show you uh, the fake products and those products that are not fake. Don't you like that gold container? I have a gold one and a silver one and I only bought them for um, less than 100 shillings. Um, Zikiwa Mbili, this other one that has a pencils uh, is a silver one and I feel like they look so beautiful uh, for presentation. Even when the customer is choosing something, they always ask me to bring them those kind of containers. bandana is one thing you're not supposed to lack in your business because they use even women even young guys from um class seven class eight and the four ones wakifunga shule they love this kind of stuff so make sure that you stock such kind of things lipstick are a lot of varieties in the market you will be actually as point for choice uh, there is met there is huda uh, there is luron kukonazile zinaitangwa irene lipsticks there are so so many varied prices uh, so make sure that you stock variety because our customers have this notion that when you have variety that is uh, how uh, they are able to buy from your shop because they feel like you have um, a lot of products but if you have one a particular uh, kind of lipstick they will feel i we want to have you selective so they will opt for another a beauty shop and leave you alone with your lipsticks there they said, don't fall don't forget all the things you've been taught you've been told don't blink don't run don't turn left or turn right or look straight at the sun my mind's gone in circles i'm trying to fight it get in these voices inside to stay quiet go to the place where all this began if you are enjoying uh, watching this video or if you are also getting educated and learning something kindly give this video a thumbs up because that is how you support my channel and also motivate me to keep on uh, taking these uh, kind of videos um, and thanks so much for all those subscribers that have subscribed we are on our road to 1000 subscribers thanks so much for the support I have done another video on the kind of braids that you are supposed to stock in your shop and the colors that you are not supposed to miss from your stock uh, because our braids go with taste but uh, there are those colors that customers prefer uh, more than others so be sure to check uh, that video i'm going to link it in the description down below um be sure to check it out uh, because that is all another uh, way you're going to learn I was not able to clean the whole beauty shop the upper shelves are not yet cleaned and all those hairs that are at the front part of the shop are the display hairs um i was not able to do all that because by this time i was very very tired and there was a lot of dust and um definitely i would want to have uh, put the salon in order because uh, i would want to get ready uh, for any customers that would want to come in to make their hair I do all the hairstyles that have ever existed on this world, uh, be it dreadlocks, uh, braiding, Ghanaian lines, Ethiopian lines, temporary locks, artificial locks. Um, even if you want to install dreadlocks, I can do that for you. 
and my offer still stands and the giveaways if i get to 1000 subscribers uh, before the end of march one or two or three lucky viewers are going to get free installations of dreadlocks and or artificial locks or also depending on what you would want me to do in your hair on your hair rather i'm ready to do it uh, so let's share this video with our friends to cause me to subscribe this channel and let's get this video to 1000 subscribers thanks so much for watching this video thanks so much for sticking around up to this point i really really appreciate and um lots of educative videos are coming your way holes plugs and a lot of motivation videos uh, thanks so much um god bless you all